I'm your host, Greg. Welcome. You're probably looking at me going, Greg, that hat's awful high on your head. And I don't see much hair. That's because the wife shaved it off for me. Anyway, as you can probably tell, um, because of the title of this one, it might be a cop. We're going to talk a little bit today about following distance. First of all, when you're behind a big truck, you're in a blind spot. Okay? One of the dangerous things about being behind a big truck and being too close is this right here. Take a look. That's my tire. Okay? When it blew, if you're too close behind me, you're going to get the shrapnel from that tire. Not to mention the mud flap and whatever else. Okay, sorry about the small pause there. I uh, I was at my stop and I had the blow I had the blow tire there that I showed you, and uh, I had to come get it fixed. So now I'm at the fix it place and they're fixing it. I already went out and took a walk, um, not far, just a little ways. There's a there's a bowling alley like right behind here, maybe a block away, maybe two blocks. And they had a gym and a pokey gym and a pokey stop there. But anyway, I beat the pokey gym and took over the pokey gym for the blue. Took it away from the yellow. Anyway, what I was talking about with, with, with uh, following too close, like I said, if there had been somebody behind me when that tire blew, they'd be getting shrapnel off that tire because there's no tread on that tire at all. It peeled right off. So that's something you got to be aware of. The other thing is, as I mentioned before in my videos, you have blind spots on a truck, okay? I can only see so much in that mirror. I can only see so much in that mirror, okay? I have to use these in order to see everything. I hope those came out okay. <laughs> That's why there are so many mirrors on a truck, to try and shorten up the blind spots. Without those ones on the hood, over there, you've got a whole spot you can hide a truck in. A pickup truck. Okay? So that's what you got to be careful of. When you're directly behind me, there's no way I can see you. Okay? Now, when you're in your car, and another car pulls right up behind you. Okay? What particular person in a car would do that? On purpose? A cop. Because he'll pull right up close to you so he can see your license plate. He'll run your license plate. And then he'll make the decision whether he wants to pull you over or not. That's the way they work. You, people can deny it all they want, but that's the way it works. In any event, I'm watching the guys fixing my tire. <laughs> you can probably see them. They're back there. They got, the, they got the tire off. I think right now they're trying to fix the, the um, mud flap. But anyway... So, if I'm driving down the road, and, and this, this happened to me this morning, okay? Driving, I got a bug in my truck. I got a couple bugs in my truck. Holy cow! I got one of them, little buggers. Anyway, um, what was I saying anyway? Following too close. <laughs> We're going to get through this video eventually. Um, he was behind me this morning. And he was right up close to me. And it was dark. So I couldn't see his truck. It was a pickup truck I found out when he passed me. But I could see his headlights. Okay. And the speed zone was 55. At least the last sign I saw was 55. And I was doing 60. So guess what I did? I thought maybe it's a cop, so I slowed down. Okay, thinking that the cop would say, okay, he was doing 60, he didn't realize he slowed down. And he'd leave me alone. Okay. Then you get upset with truck drivers. I don't know why he's going so slow. He's going slow because he thinks you're a cop because you're too close. Okay, now another reason he might be going slow is he's got too much weight. Okay, when I leave out of here and I head back down to 60, I'm going to have some hills. And I'm going to play hell getting up them. All right, because I'm heavy. 
there's no really no other way to, to get out of here. There really isn't. I mean, except to go back up to the freeway, and then I got to go through St. Louis. I don't want to do that neither. Anyway, uh, that's that's you know, but that's what you got to deal with. You got to be careful following too close because if you're too close, okay, guy sees a deer come out. Now, if it's between killing the deer and killing the human in the car behind you, obviously you want to hit the deer. Okay. The, the deer's life isn't worth as much as the human. Not to say that all life's not precious, all life's not worth. I'm not getting into that debate. Okay? But I would rather kill the deer than kill the person in the car behind me. But what's your first instinct? Something comes out in front of you, your first instinct. You don't even think about it. Hit the brake. First instinct, hit the brake. By the time I get my foot from the accelerator to the brake and hit the brake... And then you see my lights come on. You get your foot from the accelerator and hit the brake. If you're following close enough, by the time you get to the brake, your front end's already underneath my DOT bumper. Because I'm slowing down and you're still doing 55 miles an hour. Okay? Folks, you got to give yourself enough room. You got to give me enough room. Okay? My son found out the hard way. My youngest son found out the hard way. He had a nice car, he just bought it, and he got a deal on it because he got it from a relative, and, and it, it, everything was just hunky-dory. And he was on a snowy road up in Michigan, and he thought he had enough following distance, person in front of him came to a complete stop, he hit the brakes, he couldn't, he hit them, the guy behind him hit him, because he wasn't given enough following distance. And obviously when it's raining or snowing, you've got to give that extra following distance, Okay? Not just the normal following, but extra following distance, okay? Because even in the rain, the roads can get slippery, okay? The, 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 if it's, especially if it's an asphalt road, because the sun heats up the asphalt, and then the rain hits it, and all the oil that makes up the asphalt comes to the surface. And it's just like putting oil on the road, <laughs> okay? So you got to make sure you're leaving plenty of following distance. Now, that being said... When you pass a big truck, okay, when you pass a big truck and you pull back over in front of him, that's all fine. But but make sure you get all the way past it, okay? Don't come up and leave him three or four feet because then if you hit the brakes, by the time he sees your taillights, moves his foot from the accelerator to the brake, he's already going to be into the back end of you. You got no chance. And if a big truck, like right now, I got 40,000 pounds in the box. Okay? So I've got a 32,000 pound truck with 40,000 pounds in the box. That's 72,000 pounds, folks. That's a lot of weight to push. And when I hit those brakes, just because they're bigger, doesn't mean they're going to stop me faster. Okay? So make sure, and, and here's here's a good reference to use. Okay? If you've got your, your rear view mirror adjusted, the one that's on your window in your, in your personal vehicle, okay, when you get ready to get over in front of him, don't use that outside mirror on the door. Use this one. When you can see him, the entire front end of his vehicle in that mirror, then it's safe for you to get over. Now, be careful of the idiot behind you. Make sure the idiot behind you isn't going to duck in there. Make sure you have your blinker on as you're going by him. Otherwise, the idiot that's behind you might tuck in there because there's enough room, right? That's the way most people drive. Well, there's enough room, so I'll pull over there, okay? They're the person that's going to die. Simple as that. <laughs> also, when a big truck, if a big truck is passing you, okay, when he goes to get back over in front of you, number one, number one, do not flash your bright lights, Especially if it's at night. Because here's that driver. Okay, that driver's looking over here. Ah! That's what ends up happening. Because your bright lights shine right in his mirror. He's looking in that mirror. And he's literally looking right at your lights. And all of a sudden, bam! Super trooper right in the face. And for, you know, four or five seconds, he's blind. He can't see. So now he's got to blink his eyes a few times and then get over. Okay. Turn your lights off, turn them back on. If you turn, if you have your lights turned on and you turn them off, even if you have the daytime running lamps that come on automatically, they will dim. You can see it. 
Do not flash your bright lights. If they won't go off, then don't bother. Okay? You can turn your phone waves on. He might be able to see those. Okay? But don't bother. Do not flash your bright lights. Okay? Because that just blinds the driver. Also, don't just say, okay, he's clearing me. Now he can get over. Okay? Let him get some distance. Some of them, I do it. Some of the other drivers that are more safety oriented will drive past you and get full by you before they get over. Yes, they'll have their blinker on because they want the idiot behind them to know I am going to get over. Okay? So that's important. Make sure he get you, you let him get all the way by you before you before you flash your lights, before you hit your four ways. Do not flash your bright lights. Okay? And again, following too close behind you, that might be a cop. That's why he's slowing down. Keep that in mind. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up. As soon as I get this done, I got to fly. I got to go to Monterey, Tennessee, which is the other side of Nashville. So, um, and I'm in central Missouri. So I got a long way to go, and I got to be there at 8 o'clock in the morning. I can do it. In any event, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, get it put on for you. Remember, like, comment, share this video. If you're on YouTube, right down below, there's a little uh, thing that says subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell, and you'll know whenever I get a video, you'll be alerted when I post a new video, all right? If you're on my Facebook page, feel free to add me, add on the, onto my video, the tr trucker video of the day page, and as long as you answer the questions, okay, and, and you, you don't skip them or, you know, whatever, okay, um, I'll probably add you. Now, I do have two rules on my page, okay, and I just came up with these, okay? No... Go fund me. Okay? No go fund me. I, don't, I can't remember what the other rule was. I think it was no political advertising. I don't want any political bashing, whether it's bashing Trump or whether it's bashing... Um, Joe Biden. I couldn't think of who was running Democrat. Didn't matter to me. I don't care. Um, I, don't want, I don't want any of that on there. Okay? And I don't want... Go fund me. If you need money and you need somebody to help you with a fund or something you're doing, that's fine. You can do the GoFundMe. Keep it on your own page. That's all. Okay? I just don't want it on my page. Okay? Now, if you want to come to me and send me send me a personal message and say, hey, I would like to add this to your page. Would it be okay? Then I'll look at it and I'll decide whether it's okay or not. Okay? Otherwise, you're free to open post. You know, have fun. Okay? Stay within the Facebook rules, even though they change them constantly and they're very biased. You don't believe me, watch my last video. All right, until next time, this is your host of the video of the day, Greg the Crazy Trucker saying, see ya.